All right, so th there's, we're gonna do a little, little video on this deal um, about the main bores growing more on an aluminum block than an iron block once, you know, the oil's up to temperature. Um, hang loose and we'll get into it. So, uh, th this is an aluminum 5.3 we just lined home. And and I'm I'm a, we we just confirmed the dial bore gauge is zero in our setting ring, and come over here. So I mean literally we are just past the five tenths mark, just past it. So so this bore is roughly six tenths above the minimum dimension. So we, we got that. It's been sitting outside here all morning. It's normalized to the outside temperature. And so what we're gonna do is that washer is 195, 98 degrees. So we're gonna wash this block and, and, and that chicken is gonna keep making racket. She's checking out the, yeah, she's gonna get burned. That stupid chicken. Why is the chicken on the washer? Um, back to the story. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash this one, get it to 190 whatever degrees, and we're gonna measure it. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing to an iron block and see what the, the difference in the growth if there is any. I mean, I feel like there's gonna be some growth, but it'd be interesting to see if the iron block grows less than the aluminum block. So we're gonna get it in the washer and then we'll let it wash for 30 or 45 minutes, enough time to, for it to fully soak the temperature. And then uh, we'll, we'll bring you back when we, uh, before we open the door. That way we'll just open the door We'll swing it around where we can get to it and we'll measure it and then we'll see what it says and then we'll record that and then we'll do an iron block and we'll record that and we'll just we'll just see what the difference is. Alright, so it's it's running right now and so I'm gonna stop it and then we'll have to let it settle a minute and then we're gonna measure and see what this thing looks like. So it grew exactly a, a thousand, no, two thousands. Yeah, so we were five tenths. Five, yeah, it grew two thousands. All right, so that answers that on an aluminum block, which is a lot more than I thought it would grow but that's uh that's pretty substantial so i mean you know if you if you got whatever two thousandths cold you got four thousandths hot that's uh that's 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 pretty substantial so uh we're gonna we're gonna finish this one get it out and then uh we'll get an iron one in and we'll do the same thing we'll pre-measure it get it hot and then and then go from there. So stay tuned. All right, so we did the aluminum deal. We got an iron one and uh, it's, it's in the machine. Andrew got it torqued, cleaned up the surfaces and torqued the first one. And I checked the calibration on the bore mic. And so cold, we are dead on zero front and back. So we're just gonna go off the front. It's dead on zero. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her washed. Get her up to 190 degrees, 
and then we're just gonna find out how much difference they really are. All right, so it's been running a while, and I double confirmed the gauge is good. So we're gonna stop it here, give it just a second to settle down, and then we're gonna measure it at temperature. So that's about a thousandths and two, three tenths, give or take. And that's thousandths and a half. So what that tells us is the aluminum is growing a half a thousandths more than iron. So with that information, I guess we could assume without too much trouble that you know, we should probably run aluminum blocks. I mean, if we're looking for that, you know, that magic number, we should run aluminum blocks about a half a thousandths tighter than iron blocks. And I mean, half a thousandths ain't the end of the world, but I really didn't think it would, it would be a, enough difference to amount to anything, but half thousandths is half thousandths, so, um, I think that's good information. The next thing I'm gonna do, just for giggles, is I think we'll take a crankshaft and you know pick the number one journal and measure it at room temperature and then put it in the washer and uh, get it up to temperature and just see what the crank's doing. I think that'd be interesting just to just to know you know. But I was really surprised and pretty much you can I mean you can pretty much guarantee that the main bore size I mean it's about one to one I mean if you make the main bore a thousandths bigger it's going to add a thousandths running clearance so you know uh, I mean that that's a lot that's a, it moved a lot more than I thought it would but anyway I thought that was interesting hope uh, you found it interesting too and uh, you can just keep that in your toolbox when you when you're doing this stuff so if you you know you come up with a aluminum motor that's you know, quote unquote tight. Uh, it, it really ain't tight. Not, not, not when it warms up. So, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget about our new uh, Powell Cams uh, YouTube channel. Uh, check that out. We're gonna try to get. We got tons of content to get uploaded. We just ain't done it yet. So, uh, but be watching out for that. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.